All right. Well, it is super early in the morning. It is 7.30 and I'm up super early. I'm not usually up this early. So if I do not talk properly or it looks like I'm still half asleep, I am. But I thought I would get up, try and make another video. Yeah, I was thinking of going into like a couple of places and seeing if they needed photos of anything. Get up early, got up at six o'clock. Got up with my girlfriend because she was going to work. <sighs> and it is early. It is very early. But um, yeah. Why not a better time to start the video than now? So um, I guess a couple of places don't really open till like eight or nine o'clock, I'm pretty sure. So I guess we'll wait around until then. The sun is just coming up now. Oh well, it's been coming up for like half an hour. But we're a little bit late on that, so, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, so, I guess it's time to start waking up. <laughs> might even go and get an energy drink because I might need it. <laughs> I think I definitely need an energy drink. I think that will uh, wake me up a little bit. So, I think before we go somewhere else to get the drone out, I think I should go and get one of them. Oh yeah, got the fuel light on, fantastic, well, this we can go down there, that wouldn't be good, so I thought, you know what, go down this little dead bit, away from everyone, then get the drone out and fly it around and not worry about anyone, they would want to yell at me, hopefully it get stuck, so I was thinking about going to like starting off maybe like Harley Central and just seeing if they wanted any like photos of any of like the bikes or anything I'm gonna go in there expecting for a no so if there's anything else I'm going to take that as a bonus oh that would've been sick could've got the drone out and got the train going past well maybe we'll have to see what time the train time see what time the train times are and hopefully we'll catch the next one Alright, so we've got one at 8.30. to get flat so it's trying to land oh, no. oh there I am I got five percent left don't land just yet Well, didn't get the train, but my drone tried to kill itself. Thank you for that. What a waste of time. And I bet you, any second, the train's probably going to get past. But, oh well, let's get back to what I actually made this video for. Let's go out and see if anyone wanted photos. Alright, I've never done this before, so I am absolutely shitting myself but you know what? i'm gonna go in there and expect to get a no so anything other than a no is a bonus but you know what? you gotta go out and try and who knows you might you might get a yes you might get a no who knows you don't know until you really go out and try so hopefully it all goes well and i'll speak to you shortly i don't know how to really like film this so i might just try and put my phone in my pocket or something see how that goes all right, wish me luck. All right, I don't know how the sound's gonna be, so we'll give it a go. Um, yeah, I was just thinking if I could speak to the manager, if that's all right. Yeah, yeah. How are you, mate? Good, thanks. How are you? Good. That's good. Yeah. Um, I was just wondering. I'm, I'm a photographer, and I was just seeing if he's wanted any 
like photos of Ingo bikes or around the shop or anything? Yeah, we're pretty well. Man. No, that's alright. I just thought I'd come in and give it a shot. No worries. Well, that planned out exactly how I thought it would have. He said no, but there was no harm in trying. So, I don't really know where else to try. I'm not sure if it was the uh, the moustache that put it all off, but um, just go out and give it a go and who knows, um, he might get a yes one day. I'm trying to think of somewhere else I could go and ask. It's so nerve-wracking, I've never done anything like that before. And even just like going in, I've never even like been anywhere and said, hey, can I please speak to the manager? Like, they were all really nice in there, but um, they just did not want any photos. Which is good, which is fine. It's good to get knocked back. It's good. I'm glad I didn't get a yes. I don't really, doesn't really matter either way, but um, yeah, at least I tried, which is the main thing. So I'm just going to have a quick suss out and see where if anywhere else I can think of I can go in and ask. I'm sure the more and more times I get knocked back now it gives me more confidence of going out and trying other places and yeah so I'm gonna try and have a look for some other places once I think of some I will like, get back to you and let you know. Hey. <laughs> so going back over the voice recording voice recording I sound like a fucking 10 year old girl going in Fucking, I have no idea. <laughs> oh my god, I really sound like that? I have like the fucking most high pitched little voice I've ever heard. Well, I did then. It must have been because I was fucking nervous, but um, I guess I'm just gonna try. Like, I'm just gonna go for a drive through Bending Guns, like, have a look at. Just drive past places and just go and ask them because surely it's gotta get better. So I'm gonna try just a couple like little car dealerships or anything, but they're probably gonna say no anyway because, yeah, they're probably gonna say no. But that's worth trying, so let's give this a go. Good thanks, how are you? That's good. Um, I was just wondering, I'm a car photographer, I was just thinking if you guys have any like photos of any cars for like social media or anything. Uh, we can sort of take care of that stuff Yeah, that's yeah. alright. Yeah. Yeah. That's alright. I thought I'd come around and give it a shot anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's alright, well thank you very much, enjoy your day. Alright, so I tried it in the little car dealership. They said no, but um, which is okay. They said they usually just take all their photos on their phone, but they just did not want my service. But that's alright. Um, they said try a couple of the other bigger dealerships down there, so I've just stopped in at Subaru. And um, I'm gonna go in and ask them. Yeah, wish me luck again, but still going in, expecting to know. But the more and more you go out and do it, the more actually easier it is. Even though it was only my second time going and ask somewhere, but yeah. It's getting better. So, have faith, I'm getting there. If not, today I'm sure another day we will get there. So, fingers crossed for this one and I will see you back in the car in a second. All right, well, we're having a little bit more luck. I um, I went in, I didn't film it on my phone, like I didn't record it, but um, I went into Honda Innis Motors and over to Subaru. But um, the Honda dealership, I did go in there and that guy was really nice. He, um, he was a bit interested and he got like my, my photography page on Facebook and I gave him like my phone number, my name, so who knows, they could be just taking it because they don't want to be rude, but yeah, at least we're getting somewhere. At least someone's got, got my details out there, so we're getting there. So I'm gonna, not giving up now, so I'm gonna keep going and I'm just gonna go for a drive and go past a couple of dealerships to see if they want some photos or anything, any advertising on like their Facebook page or anything like that. So, yeah. Happy days! It's actually so much fun just driving around and asking people. Like, so I stopped at Mazda now, so I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna try down the road at BMW because that would be sick to get some photos of them, but who knows? I'm still expecting to know. So. So, I will try and record this one. Hopefully I don't sound like a fucking little bitch this time. But I am slowly getting a little bit less nervous going in. But, um, yeah, let's go and do it. Good, thanks. How are you? That's good. I was just wondering, I'm a car photographer. I was just thinking if you guys have any, like, photos of any cars for, like, social media or anything. Uh, we can sort of take care of that stuff as Yeah, that's yeah. alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's alright, I thought I'd come around and give it a shot anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. yeah that's it. <laughs> that's alright, well thank you very right, much, man. enjoy your day. Alrighty, that one was also a no, which is good, which is actually great. So, um, we're getting there. So I'm gonna go try BMW now, surely, of, out of somewhere, somewhere else. I would, would at least be happy if they took my name and my phone number, that would be about it. But, um, Mazda. 
I mean, we just tried most of them. They said no. Um, it was pretty nice. He just said they'd really do it all by themselves. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. So let's try a BMW and maybe one more. And that should be about enough for today. I just had a couple of these because I thought it would, um, maybe it's my bad breath that they're all saying no to. But they're fucking strong. But um, I'm going to go into BMW. Ask them. There's a really nice P plate of BMW at the front. I will ask to speak to the manager this time. I'm expecting no. Again. All right, well, I will see you guys shortly. Hi. Thanks, how are you? Thank you. Um, I was just looking for the manager, if that's okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just... I'm just on a phone call at the moment. She shouldn't be too Yeah, that's all right. I'll just walk around and have a look. Yeah. Thank you. Hello, how are you going? Good, thanks, how are you? Good, thank you. I can help. Um, I'm a car photographer. I was just seeing if you need any photos of any of your cars or the social media or anything. Very nifty of you. Yeah, I thought I'd just go around to. Yeah, absolutely. Now, that was probably the best one so far, and probably the most exciting out of all the dealerships that I've been to. This BMW, she was really, really lovely. I showed her a bunch of my photos. She got my Facebook page, my name, my email address, phone number. And I was showing her a few of my photos and she loved them, she thought it was awesome. And she said her photographer that usually comes through and takes some photos actually moved back home to England. So, which was a plus, so they are hopefully looking for another photographer. She liked the ones even like around the Gillies factory and some of the ones that I've done for Ben at Showtime Customs in Heathcote. She loved them and... Yeah, she was asking me, like, do you do it for a hobby? And she made a little joke. She was like, so why is it called Mr. Kenna Media if you're running a Nikon? And I was like, oh, God, I get that a lot. But um, she was really nice. And um, she said in the next couple of weeks they were doing, like, a road show. So she said we would probably need to get some photos. I'm trying to hold back my excitement. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I really, really hope that she gets back to me. I'm really excited. I'm actually, like, from the first time I went into into Harley got knocked back like that's it like I just, I'm getting expected to get knocked back so uh, anything else is honestly just a plus I need to stop saying like a lot but anyway fingers crossed I really really hope so I'm probably gonna wrap this video up because I reckon I've tried so well, I've tried Harley a small dealership they both said no I've tried Inners Motors, it was the Honda one. Don't know if I'll get hear back from them. I've tried the one next door, Subaru. I've tried BMW, which is so far the best result yet. And that's it. Like, if you want to go out and do something, just go out and do it. And that's why I thought, like, even in my video, in my recent video that I made of my stickers, I even said, don't have the motivation to get up in the morning and make more videos. And I even said, like, it's weird to go out and make more videos. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to get up. I finished work at 11 o'clock done like a 10, 10 and a half hour day, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to get up, I'm going to get up super early, wake myself up and go out and make a video. And so far, just for like having the smile on my face of going around and asking people if they want photos, it's definitely worth getting up early and just making the most of it. Because honestly, who knows what's going to happen? Like who really knows what's going to happen in the future? And it's exciting. It's so exciting. So, and honestly, like, thank you guys also even like letting me take photos of your cars your motorbikes, just anything you have. Thank you so much. All the support from you guys I, honestly means the world. And I know I don't have that much subscribers on YouTube, but I know all my friends, family are there to support me. And honestly, like a number doesn't really matter to me, like, because I'm going out and doing what I like to do. And that's it. So if you have something that you want to do and you're into, don't worry about what anyone else thinks. If you're good at it, bad at it, as long as you enjoy it, just go out and do it, honestly, like, because there's no other time to start than now. If you keep thinking, I'm going to do it tomorrow, next week, I'm going to, oh, I'll do it soon. Just honestly, go out and do it, because you won't regret it. So I'm going to wrap this video up, and if you like more content and make, making videos like this, then subscribe and comment where you, th like, other places where you think that I should go next. I guess I should probably start getting ready for to go to my actual job in a factory, so... Thank you guys again, all the support means so much to me, and I will see you in the next video.